A UAB experts are debunking myths, and that's one that they address specifically, and that's because safety was not compromised in developing this vaccine, and there are several reasons that these vaccines were developed so quickly. Pfizer and Moderna use technology called mRNA. This allows for rapid synthesis of clinical grade vaccines. The COVID-19 vaccine is the first to be developed with this technology. However, scientists have been working with mRNA for 10 years. Another reason through the years of vaccine clinical trials, scientists have learned how to speed up this process. Phase one and two are now designed into one study. And finally, studies on these vaccines had overwhelming participation for these mRNA vaccines. Health experts have safety data on more than 40,000 people. And even now that the vaccine is being distributed, safety is continuing to be monitored. And Sarah, the vast majority of people do recover from COVID and we know that they're immune to the virus for some period of time. Do they have to get this vaccine too? That's a great question, Carla, and one that a lot of people are asking. Yes, even if you've had COVID-19, you'll still need to get vaccinated. Now, most, not all who've had COVID develop some kind of antibodies. Experts believe though that these antibodies only last three to four months before you can be susceptible to the virus again. Now, the CDC does recommend that if you've recently had COVID-19, Wait 90 days before you get this vaccine. Now coming up in the next half hour, we are debunking more myths, including the side effects from the vaccine and what you need to do if you think you might have an allergic reaction.